biggest winner in this cabinet shuffle is Andre Perez. After being placed on a leave of absence in August of 2023, he returned from political exile eight months later, restored as a minister of blue economy. But he loses the beefy civil aviation portfolio to the prime minister while taking up NEMO and National Fire Service, which are far lesser departments. He gets those from out of the portfolio of Lande Habet, formerly the Minister of Sustainable Development, Climate Change and Disaster Risk Management. And we assume disaster risk management now disappears as he hands over the responsibility for NEMO. So it's a downgrade for Habet, and less so for Paris, but a downgrade for him nonetheless. And as for upgrades, it goes all to the backbench, or what used to be the backbench. Those are the PUP representatives who were not ministers or ministers of state. Well, all of them are ministers of state now. In an unprecedented move, all the backbenchers have been promoted to ministers of state. That's Alex Bologna, who has been made Minister of State in the Ministry of Agriculture, Food Security and Enterprise. Marconi Leal, who has been appointed Minister of State in the Ministry of Infrastructure, Development and Housing. And Jorge Espat, who has been appointed Minister of State in the Ministry of Investment. Joining Mike Espat and Chris Coy, who are also Ministers of State in what is the PM's Ministry. They joined the all-star cast of the eight existing Ministers of State for an unprecedented 11 ministers of state. And why? Well, the official release says basically it's politics. Quote, these adjustments and assignments come on the heels of an overwhelming mandate at the polls, end quote. And that gave the Briseño administration the green light for these cabinet level upgrades, which will also result in about a $2,000 monthly upgrade in salaries for these once lowly backbenchers who go from the $36,000 annually made by an air representative to the $60,000 a year made by a minister of state.